Conservation is one of the foundational practices within historic preservation. It is the science of historic preservation. It is a science that, unlike other scientific endeavors, is never free from cultural and political issues. I think that what conservation brings to art is a sense of rigor in the search and in the production of works. Likewise, I think what my work does in terms of playing out some of the, or making some artistic themes and ideas resonate within conservation, is that it prevents conservation from becoming science for science sake. One of the central practices in conservation is the practice of cleaning. And so very early on, conservation uh, developed as a way of cleaning uh, what were seen at the time as destructive agents from works of art. And since then, a whole set of philosophical issues have come up around the notion of cleaning. How much can you clean before you change the nature of the object itself, before it becomes something else? So what degree is cleaning an object changing it fundamentally? And in particular, what I was interested in is to make the claim that what we have been removing from buildings as conservators and, and preservationists might have been more important than any of us realized. It might have been, in fact, the history of our modernity The piece that I submitted to you is a, an image of dust removed from the Alumix factory in Bolzano, a, a factory that was built by Mussolini in order to Italianize a part of Italy that was essentially Austrian at the time, uh, right after World War I. What you have is 70 years of, of the dust that that particular factory had produced. It is really the history of the modernization of that region, but it's also, by cleaning it, there's all sorts of issues about uh, culture that are raised, whose history is being, in a sense, removed from the building. So much of the or original cleaning procedure was to really remove the actual dust and so this is really a representation of the dust, if you will, because it is a photograph of one of the latex panels. By submitting this work to Art We Love, what I'm trying to do is essentially to recapture the notion of pollution as a theme within artistic production that can be dealt with in terms other than absence, that maybe we need to figure out a way to uh, recapture this theme, this theme's presence within art, not as something natural, but very much as something in which human agency has a role.